So hello everyone. In this video, I'm gonna talk about a common print statement in Java, and that is print alarm. Well, if you have already watched the first video, then I guess you are already familiar with the print alarm. Now let me show you how that actually works. So let's say I have a Java file which is main.java. So as earlier, I need to declare my public class, and that is public class main and now the main method all right now keep in mind whenever we want to print something in the console or you can say in the terminal i mean this or if you want you can open a cmd or terminal or shell and run your java code from there i mean compile and run your java code from there all right so how the print function works you have already noticed that whenever i wanted to print something earlier in those videos i used System dot out dot print alarm. and then I use a semicolon to specify the end of the print statement. All right, now this is the system. We are calling the system because we want to print something in the system, or you can say, uh, how can I say this? You want to print something in the console output. All right, O U T out out means this out here is actually the short form of the output that means we want to print something print something all right and here comes our print statement which is print ln now the print statement is actually this print but whenever we use print ln that indicates that we want to print a new line after executing the string or you can see the statement inside of this print statement now let me show you how that actually works let's say in this print statement i am printing my name which is fahim bin amin cool now if i simply run this code i am getting fahim bin amin now it might be possible that you haven't noticed where we are getting the new line but we are actually getting a new line after printing this statement let me show you how suppose i am printing fahim in one print statement and I want to print my rest of the name which is Bean Amin in another print statement. All right. Now, if I simply run this code again, you see that after printing the first statement which is Fahim, I am printing the another statement which is Bean Amin in a different line, in a new line. After printing this statement, I am calling a new line which is this line and then in this new line I am printing this statement then obviously as I have already used ln here I am also getting a new line after this statement as well all right so now if you are familiar with C or C++ language then you might have seen this thing slash n slash n indicates the new line statement there all right in Java Whenever we call print ln, this ln indicates the new line. So, what is actually happening behind this scenario is that after executing this, we are also executing this slash n. All right. Here we don't need to write slash n explicitly because ln already does this for us. All right. So, whenever we are using print ln, we are executing this statement inside this print statement and after then we are calling a new line statement so for that reason after printing this statement we are getting a new line and then after printing this statement we are getting another new line because we have used ln here as well so in this way whenever i will use the print ln statement or you can say print ln function i will get a new line after printing each a statement inside one print ln statement all right or you can say print ln function let's say i am uh, saying this i am starting after executing this line i will automatically get a new line why because i am using print ln ln indicates new line after executing this statement this string statement all right so let's say i'm gonna provide another string here i'm starting and i am starting at United International University. Now, whenever I will run this code, what will happen? You know that code execution process starts with the main method. So this is the main method. So the first line, I am calling it to print this Fahim and then I am telling it to add a new line after printing this 
So after printing Fahim, I am getting a new line. Then after printing Fahim, I am again getting a new line because I have specified LM. I have already specified it to add a new line after printing this statement. All right. Then as I have already used LM, I am getting another new line. Then I am printing this. I am starting. And then I am getting another new line. Then I am printing this. I am starting at United International University. All right. Now if I don't use print LM, I won't get any new line after this. Now if I run this, the code works perfectly. All right. So normally we use print LM. So I am getting, I am starting at United Nation University. Now you might have noticed the new line after this, but keep in mind that we have a new line after this. You can get it like here. Now, whenever I am running this in this terminal, you might have not noticed the print statement. I mean the new line explicitly, but keep in mind that we obviously have a new line after printing this statement as well if we use ln here. All right. So that's how print ln function works. So that's it for today. I'm going to see you in another video. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you want to follow me, you can do that in GitHub, GitLab, LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. I will provide all of the link in this video's description box. So that's it. Thank you.